Hello, and how are you? I wanted to talk to you today about a little boy who went to a picnic. It's called the Big Picnic. Jesus had finished teaching. Everyone was hungry. Send them away to buy food, his disciples said. But Jesus wanted to show the people that they could trust God. Why don't you feed them? Jesus asked. It would take a year's wages to buy bread for them all, his disciples cried. How much food do you have? asked Jesus. There's a boy here, said Andrew, who has five loaves of bread and two fish, two whole fish. Jesus smiled. Perfect. Tell the people to sit down on the grass. So the people sat down all over the mountainside. Jesus thanked God for the bread and the fish. Then he broke them into pieces for his disciples to hand out. So it's five loaves and two fish. Not very much. Jesus' disciples passed out the bread and the fish to the whole crowd. There were 5,000 men and lots of women and children too. That's way more people than fit in our church. That's a lot. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Afterwards, the disciples gathered up the leftovers. There were 12 baskets full from just five loaves and two fishes. The people knew they could trust God to care for them. How did Jesus show the people that they could trust God? because even though it looked like they didn't have enough, they had more than enough. After seeing all the miracles that Jesus did, many people wanted him to be their king. He wasn't like the kings of the world. He came as a humble king of a forever kingdom. So I wanted to show you a way that you might understand a little better, because we don't really eat loaves and fishes anymore. Let's pretend that we're at church, and we want to share our special thing that we have with the whole church. Do you think that's enough? No? I don't think so either. So what if I gave this to Jesus and he turned it into this? That would be enough, maybe, for the whole church. So one of the things we have to remember is sometimes it feels like we don't have enough, but God provides. Another thing people are kind of concerned about now is this. Do you know what this is? This is toilet paper. And all the grown-ups are worried because they say we're running out. So if we went to Jesus with this and we said, this is all I have, he would turn it into this. It's amazing. So what the Bible says about all this is, my God will provide for all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So he might not provide for everything that we want. Like let's say we want a million chocolate bars. But he will provide for all of our needs. So I know sometimes now it's a little difficult because not all the things that we want are at the store. But it's okay. You need to remember that God provides for all of our needs. So that's our lesson for this week. And I hope you'll join me again next week. Have a wonderful week.